Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. From time to time, if you open a Pro Tools session you've previously worked on, you may encounter an issue where the session almost immediately crashes on opening. One of my sessions is doing precisely this. So if I open this, it will start to open as normal and it seems to be open, but we've got the spinning beach ball of death. And then it quits. The application Pro Tools has unexpectedly quit due to a crash in the unknown no-name plugin. So something in this session is causing it to crash. And there's an easy way that we can determine precisely what this is. So let's start by reopening Pro Tools. And when that's done, we're going to open the session whilst holding down the Shift key. Okay, Pro Tools is now open. So I'm going to hold down Shift, double click on the session file itself. The session opens, but the difference here is when it does open, it's going to open with all the plugins inactive. So you can see we can now run the session. I'll just open the video. It's a okay, it's working all right. I think the most important thing is... So the process now is to selectively reactivate the plugins one at a time and find out which one's causing the crash. So I'm going to start with Pro Q4. I think the most important thing... Seems fine. Just going to go down to the master fader. But let's do the Pro L2 and New Gen Viz LM. I think the most important thing is okay, that you've it's got still a working all right. Um, I'm going to try the Pro Compressor. Come well together, and it's no surprise that that's we're... okay. Waves Clarity VX. Something's happening here, and it's crashed. So the crash reporter has come up. Once again, it doesn't know which plugin has caused the problem, but we do. So a couple of solutions to this. It's probably caused by an out of date version of the plugin. So you could go into your drive library, application support. In the Avid folder, you'll find audio and then plugins, and you could locate the plugin in question. So in this case, it's actually within the Waveshell uh, AAX plugin. So I could update that. You can see this is, this is out of date. It's from November 2023, which is no doubt one of the causes of the issue. So I could replace that. Or if I felt that I wasn't going to use that plugin anymore, maybe I didn't need it, I could just drag it to the plugins unused folder and then Pro Tools won't see it. And when you start it up, it'll just be missing. So that's a quick solution to plugins which cause Pro Tools to crash. Open the session whilst holding down Shift. All the plugins will be inactive. Selectively reactivate them. And I was doing that by holding down Control and Command whilst clicking on them. And when you activate the problematic plugin, it's probably going to cause Pro Tools to crash. So you can determine which one that is and then do something to correct that. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.